We finally got an official solid diagnosis. I want to thank all of you guys for following me and you know just being a part of this journey um life wins every time you know uh dr malcolm in jurassic park said life finds a way and um we are we are no less committed to that now than we were three months ago and we will be six months from now and i am i am just so encouraged by <laughs> i'm so encouraged by those of you battling really severe forms of illness, really severe. I had a guy write me the other day, um, he's been battling brain cancer for 10 years and two surgeries. And I'm just like, how do you deal with that, man? Like, how do you deal with that? You know? So I'm just encouraged and I thank you all for that. What what I have, I am I am relieved. I have a, a serious condition um, that's easily, that we're gonna defeat. We're gonna crush it, you know, through this. Um, so let's, let's talk about it. Um, we did get our results. My doctor apologized profusely for rescheduling that appointment. Yeah, he was so embarrassed. Um, and, and I, I think that really called his character. I mean, he's in and out of four different offices a day and, and he's not going on a personal thing. That's just what the office said. He was just working in Temecula, um, that day. And, and he says, I should have, I, I should have personally ask them to send you to Temecula rather than just rescheduling you. So that being said, he took a real somber tone and he was like, okay, well, we got our results, you know? So immediately I'm like, you know, my heart's just like pounding out of my chest. I'm like, he's going to give me this, you know, serious diagnosis. Um, it turns out it wasn't super serious and it wasn't a super miracle. It wasn't super good news either. So it was something rather reasonable. Um, I have malignant thymoma and I even hate saying it. I, I don't, we're not going to use the C word in this house. I, I talked to my kids last night and I told them we do not use the, you know, I talked, do you know what, do you know what it is? Do you know what cancer is? Um, and have you heard of it? And Kanan was really sweet. He says, yeah, it's that thing that people get and then they die. Um, and so we had a, we had a real heart to heart about different levels of seriousness and that sort of thing. So, um, I apologize if you can hear my kids out there screaming. Hang on a quick second. It's like Lord of the Flies out there, man. I'm gone for two minutes and 39 seconds. Um, so we had a sweet moment and we talked about the different levels of seriousness. Okay, I am in a stage one or a stage two. Doctor thinks it's stage two and I think it's because of the size of the thing that makes him feel that way. He Okay, so here's our here's the variables, right? Um, here, there are three variables. Variable number one is, uh, well, first of all, there's definitely gonna be a surgery. They're gonna cut this chest, though. They're gonna cut my chest open. They're gonna pull the thing out. That has to happen, right? Malignant or benign, it has to happen. So we knew that that was on the, the plate anyway. Number two, uh, the number one variable is the thoracic surgeon may want to start three chemo sessions prior to the surgery to shrink it and then remove it. Um, they may want to um, start, they may want to do chemo after the surgery if they aren't able to remove the whole thing cleanly. Like if they leave some, you know, speckles behind, then they, they may want to do chemo for six months, six treatments at 21 days apart um, after all that. And then the third variable is like a combination of the two. Now, I am very aware that cancer is a business and I am very aware that chemo makes money. So I have every intention that they're going to be selling me chemo big time. So, um, uh, and that is not a knock on any of, of my friends out there that are going through chemo. I, I am going to do chemo if that's what they ask me to do. I am also going to be working in the natural and the holistic realm as well. We're not extremists over here. We're not going to do one or the other. Um, what I am looking for is to prepare my body, to prepare my soul and my mind for the journey that lies ahead, which I think will be short term. So I asked the doctor, what can I do to prepare my body for this? And he said, load up, you've got to eat. The, the thing right here is, is burning calories at four times the normal rate, which is why I'm so skinny. I mean, I can't, shirts are hanging out, I can't keep my pants up. It's, it's, <laughs> but 
uh, seriously, like I'm fading away here. I, I, I notice that I'm eating a ton. I'm eating junk food and I'm at the gym. So I'm, um, I've noticed that. And that's what he said. So you, I've got to be eating twice as much now. Um, and, um, and, and kind of beefing up. So here's what we're asking from you guys. Um, if you are distant and you want to help, please donate to the GoFundMe campaign. I'm going to post a link to that in the Facebook status where you're watching this. Please donate what you can. Um, this is going to be expensive and it's going to take us some time to pay off. The other part of that is that we are going to, to need to be investing more money into um, healthy foods cost money. Um, uh, organic foods cost money. Alkaline foods cost money. Um, so we're going to notice an increase in our monthly uh, grocery budget and what we're going to spend. Number two, if you're local and donating is not your thing and you can make a casserole, bring your food over. I, this is a call to arms, man. Like I, I need food. We need to have food in this house all the time. Protein-based, alkaline-rich foods that tumors hate. That is what we are asking for from our community. We've had so many people say, how can I help? And it's just like, you know, prayers and thoughts and all that. We love that. I love that. Keep it coming. If you want to mobilize and be a part of the fight club, right? Then here's what I'm asking you for. Donate to the GoFundMe campaign so that my family doesn't go broke through this. Number two, bring over casseroles, bring over chicken and beef and, and food that we can eat that I, I have to be eating all through the day. I'm going, you know, it's not my thing, man. I'm a pretty healthy guy. I don't overeat, but I have to now, you know, you know what I mean? So that's what we're looking at. I love all of you guys. And this is, this is not going, we're, we're going to conquer and crush this thing and we're going to do it publicly. You're going to see video updates and we're going to keep coming at you with this stuff. So um, thank you for everything that you do for my family and thank you for being a part of this, um, uh, being part of the Fight Club. All right, let's take this thing to the max and crush it.